Hi all. Welcome to the Salesforce Service Cloud series. This session is about entitlement and SLA in Salesforce. Myself, Didi Jaising. I'm an architect at UST with 11 years of experience in Salesforce. I'm an ATEX certified application architect and a trailhead ranger. I am one of the co-lead of Women in Tech Group Kuchi. Here I am enclosing my Twitter and LinkedIn profiles so that you can follow me and connect with me. Getting into the agenda of the session, we will be covering the following topics today. What is SLA and the importance of SLA in Service Cloud? What is entitlement management? What is entitlement and how it works? What are the supported objects for entitlement? How to enable entitlement management? How to create entitlement? How to use entitlement template, types of entitlement process, and how to create service contracts with entitlement. When we talk about service cloud, service level agreement for the account is very important. SLA is the agreement between you and your customer. SLA improves customer satisfaction and avoids chance of disappointment to a customer. Here are some key points which can be defined by creating SLAs. KPI or the key performance indicator demonstrates how effectively a company is achieving key business objectives. It also provides input to quality improvement process and eventually improving the customer satisfaction. It improves customer commitments. Clearly defined SLA reduces the chance of disappointing a customer. It also ensures that the internal processes are being followed in the right direction. Mostly SLAs has penalties, which implies that the non-performance can be costly. By having the SLAs and penalties clearly defined, the customer care executives can work in accordance with the SLAs. A case will have different SLA depending upon the priority, severity, and also the plan of the customer. Having said that, it is very important that we define and set these points in Salesforce associated with each account as every account can have different SLAs. The question is how we can achieve this in Salesforce in such a way that the support agents or the customer care executives can easily verify and validate a case against the SLAs and can act accordingly. Salesforce provides something called entitlement management, which is the term used for a group of features that help you enforce service level agreements. Some SLAs are this simple, but you probably have some extra support details that you would like to enforce. For example, maybe high priority cases must be closed within 24 hours, or agent must respond to customer comments on cases within four hours. To enforce time dependent support steps like these on cases, you can use a nifty tool called entitlement process. Entitlement processes are customizable timelines that includes all the steps that the support agents must complete to resolve a case. Once you set up a process, you can apply it to as many customer entitlements as you need. Entitlement management involves the following process. Enable entitlement, create milestone, create an entitlement process, add your milestones to the entitlement process, add workflow action to the process milestones, create entitlement templates for the product. We will go through each of these points one by one. Before that, let us see what is entitlement. As the name indicates, entitlements can indicate the type and level of support your customers are entitled to receive. In other words, what special perks do they get as your customer? It helps to provide the best solution for the customer support and thereby offers the correct support to your customer. Entitlement also helps to ensure reps are delivering support in a timely manner. Here are some example business cases that would be a good fit for the Salesforce entitlements. Some customers claim our apps have both basic and primary support options for purchase. Some claims our customers get free video chat support for the first 12 months of their contract. There can be another claim like our premier product line comes with 24 hour support. 
Having entitlement configured in Salesforce, we will get option to configure the different support levels for each customers and thereby enforce SLA and internal process. It also gives you two important things, that is allow the customer service reps to verify what kind of support the customers are entitled to and allow you to monitor the SLAs and ensure reps are delivering support in a timely manner. For example, Suppose we have created an entitlement that entitles a particular account to phone support. When a contact from the account calls support with a question, the support agent looks up the account and sees it has an active phone support entitlement. The agent answers the question and if needed, creates a case from the entitlement. As per the SLA, to keep tab on the level of customer support each of your customers is entitled to. If customer A is entitled to a gold support, where a squad of support agents need to provide an hourly update, and customer B has bronze, where he is only entitled for one email consultation per year, you don't want to mix those two up. Entitlements tells your support team what service level each customer is entitled to based on their SLA. You can incorporate entitlements into your support processes in several ways. But if you want to keep it simple, just link each entitlement to an account in Salesforce. Entitlements can be related to accounts, assets, cases, service contracts, and contract line items. They could also be related to contacts in Classic, but the feature is not available in Lightning Experience. Now we will check how to enable entitlement management. To enable entitlement management, go to the setup under entitlement management and click on entitlement settings. So in this page, we will see a checkbox called enable entitlement management. We need to check on this checkbox and click on save. Now the entitlement management is enabled. Before we get started, let's take care of a few chores to make sure everything goes smoothly. First, we can set the field level security for the entitlement name field on case so that we can view and edit it. From setup, enter accessibility in the quick find box. Then click field accessibility, select case, and click on view fields. Select the entitlement name in the drop down menu and click hidden next to your profile to display the accessibility options. Under field level security, select visibility and under page layout, select visible. Save your changes. Now we can add the milestone tracker to the case feed to let users see a milestone countdown on cases. If you're not sure what does it mean, don't worry. We will get into the details soon. From setup, go to object manager. Type in case in the quick find box and click on the case object. From the case page layout, select the case layout. Click on the feed view button. Move to the other tools and components session. Use the arrow button to move the milestone tracker from left to the right column. And then we can save our changes. Now we can add the entitlement templates related list to the product page layout. For that, we can navigate to the object manager. Type in product in the quick find box. Click on the product. Select the page layout. Select the product layout. In the related list section, drag the entitlement templates related list to the layout and save the changes. Now we can add entitlement related list to the account and the asset page layout. From setup, go to object manager, enter account in the quick find box, and then click on the page layouts under the account. 
in the related list section, drag the entitlements related list onto the layout and save the changes. Now let's create a sample entitlement for our customer that reflects the terms for their SLA. We can click on the entitlements tab, click on new button, enter the following details, entitlement name, type, account name, start date, and end date. Leave the rest of the fields blank and click save. Now this account has its own uh, entitlement that tells agents what support level its contacts are entitled to. Now uh, let us explore one way to create entitlements automatically in Salesforce using entitlement templates. Entitlement templates can be used only if you use product in your org. Also, we can view the entitlement template related list on product only in Classy, not in the Lightning experience. So if you have a product and if a product that you offer includes the same support level for every customer, you can attach an entitlement template to the product to predefine its support terms. The entitlement templates are a neat time-saving way to churn out multiple entitlements with the same settings. Imagine that our new product, the Origami Box Kit, is widely popular. However, it's a little hard to assemble. Because of this, we want every customer who purchases an Origami Box Kit to receive font support for one year following their purchase. You can manually create a separate font support entitlement for every customer. But it would be easy if we can create it automatically as the support level is same for all the customers. Here is how you can use an entitlement template to quickly entitle all Origami Box Kit owners to font support. Go to Setup. In the Quick Find box, enter Entitlement Template. Create a new template for font support. And uh, enter the name as font support and term as 365 days. For now, leave the entitlement process field blank. Leave the rest of the field blank and save your template. Now we can see how we can apply this entitlement template to a product. Go to the product tab. Select the origami box kit product. Click on add entitlement template. Select the font support entitlement template. And click on insert selected. Click on done. Now we can see the font support entitlement template got added to the origami box kit product. Whenever a user purchases an origami box kit, an asset record for this kit is created from the origami box kit product record based on the entitlement template we have added. Because the product record now includes an entitlement template, a font support entitlement with the same settings as the template is automatically added to the newly created asset. The entitlement appears in the entitlement related list of the asset also. Okay, what does this look like in real life? Suppose a contact calls your support line in a panic because he is unable to assemble his first origami box. The support agent speedily looks up the contact in Salesforce and finds the asset record for his kit. The agent sees from the font support entitlement on the asset that the contact is entitled to a font support. He talks him through assembling the box. Happy customer, happy you. Now we can see how we can set up an entitlement process. First, we need to set up the milestone. The milestone can be added to an entitlement process as you want. Milestone represents the required time-dependent steps in your support process, like the first response or the case resolution time. It is added to the entitlement processes to ensure that the agents resolve support records correctly and on time. An entitlement process can have up to 10 milestones. You can set up a milestone to occur once in an entitlement process or it can reoccur until the entitlement process exists. From setup, enter milestone in the quick find box. 
then select milestone under engagement management. Name your milestone and add description to it. Also select the recurrence type. The recurrence type no recurrence means the milestone will only occur once per case. There are two, two more types of recurrence. One is independent and the other one is sequential. Independent milestones occur whenever the milestone criteria are met on the case. Sequential milestones occur on repeat when the milestone criteria are met on the case. Now we can save the milestone. From setup, enter entitlement process on the quick find box. Then select entitlement processes under entitlement management. Click new entitlement process. Select case in the type pick list. In this module, we will cover case entitlement process. Name your process as standard support and enter the description. Don't select active. We will activate the process after we add the milestone action to it. Leave the other fields as it is and click on save. So now we have created our entitlement process. Now we can see how we can add our milestone to an entitlement process. So an entitlement process needs milestones to represent required support steps. Otherwise, it's just an empty framework. Let's add our resolution type milestones to the newly created entitlement process so agents know how much time they have to resolve cases according to our standard support process. So in the milestone related list, click on new button. For milestone name, choose the resolution time milestone you created. The time trigger in the number of minutes agents have to complete the milestone. In other words, how long they have to resolve the case. So all the high priority cases must be closed within four business hours. All medium and low priority cases must be closed within 16 business hours. Let's tackle this high priority case resolution limit. Leave the Apex class checkbox deselected. Leave the start time and business hours field as is for order enter one. Leave the criteria field as is and enter the criteria that must be met for the milestone to count down. Case priority equals high. Click on save. Now let's set up the same milestone for your medium or low priority cases. In the milestone related list, click on new. For milestone name, choose the resolution time milestone again. Since medium and low priority cases must be closed within 16 hours, enter 960 in the time trigger field. Leave Apex class checkbox deselected. Leave the start time and the business hours fields as is. For order, enter 2. Leave the criteria field as is and enter the criteria that must be met for the milestone to count down. Case priority equals medium or low. Click on save. Now we have associated our milestone with the entitlement process. Now your entitlement process knows that the high priority cases must be resolved within four hours and the medium and low priority cases must be resolved within 16 hours. Now we will see how we can add workflow action to notify agents when an open case is getting close to the resolution time limit. Say for example, for the high priority cases, maybe we can add a warning action to have agents to be notified one hour before the resolution time milestone expires. For that, in the milestone related list, click the name of your milestone for high priority cases. Under warning actions, click add time trigger. Enter one and select hours to have agents be notified one hour before the resolution time milestone expires. Click on save. Under your new time trigger, click workflow action and select a new email alert. Add a description as one hour warning before the milestone expires. 
as a prerequisite, I have already created a simple email template in the setup to notify the users. So I'll just select the email template that I have created for the same. For the recipient type, select the owner, then use the arrow button to add the case owner as the selected recipient. Leave the remaining fields as is and click on save. Now, case owners of open high priority cases will receive a warning email one hour before the four hour resolution time limit is reached. Now, we have set up our entitlement process, added the milestone, and also added the milestone actions. Now we can enable or activate our entitlement process. For that, we need to navigate to the entitlement process from setup. Enter entitlement process in the quick find box. Then select entitlement processes. Click the name of the process, standard support. Click on edit and select active and save your changes. Now that our entitlement process is all ready for business, we can apply it to any customer entitlement we want. This means cases created from the entitlement will follow the steps in that entitlement process. Let's apply the entitlement process to the entitlement we have created. Click on the entitlement tab. Select the entitlement we have created. In the entitlement process field, use the lookup to select our standard support process. Click on save. Now, cases created from this entitlement will automatically follow your standard support process. That means agents will see the resolution time milestone counting down on the case. Now let us discuss the different types of entitlement processes. There are three types of entitlement processes. Entitlement only, entitlement with service contract and contract line item, and entitlement with service contract. Entitlement only entitlement process means the support agent determines whether a customer is eligible for support at the contract, account, and asset level. The entitlement with service contracts and contract line item means the support agent determines whether a customer is eligible for support based on the product covered in the service contract. Now coming to the entitlement with service contract, the support agent determines whether a customer is eligible for support based on their service contract. Now we will check how to create an entitlement to service contracts. Now we have everything set up for entitlements and milestones to meet customers' support needs. Now we can create a service contract and entitlement for our customer, and then we can log a case for them using entitlements. We can check how we can create a service contract. Click on the app launcher and uh, type in service keyword. Click the service contract tab, then click on new, and then enter the service contract information. Give the service contract name. Select the account name. Select start days as today's date. And end date as one year from today. Select term as 12 months. And click on save. Now we can add an entitlement to the service contract. Click on the related tab. Click on the new button near entitlements. And fill in the details. Enter the entitlement name. Select the account name. Select start date as today. And End date as one year from today. Select the entitlement process that we have created and click on save. Now we have associated an entitlement to the service contract. Now we can create a new case to test this process. Click on the account tab. Select the account that we have used 
for uh, creating the entitlement process in the related list click on the new button in the case related list enter the required data select the case origin as font case reason as performance select the entitlement name basic font support save the record now a new case is created for this account with the entitlement attached to the case so in the case details we can see the entitlement associated to this case the milestone tracker shows how much time is remaining before hitting milestones within an entitlement process now we can have a look into it from the case you just created click on the gear icon and select the edit page from lightning components menu drag the milestone components and drop it to the top of the canvas above the case details and below the highlight panel at the top click save and then activate the page click as in as all default leave desktop selected and then click on the next button now click on save and then click on the save button again now we can click on the back arrow and we can see that the milestone components on the case record page you can see the countdown has begun the resolution time milestones having entitlement configured in salesforce we will get option to configure different support levels for each customers and thereby enforce sla and internal processes entitlements in salesforce helps us in two major ways that is allow the customer service reps to verify what kind of support the customers are entitled to and allows to monitor slas and ensure reps are delivering support in a timely manner so by creating service timelines for cases now agents and managers can easily track the progress against each service milestones to make sure service level agreements are being met all of these benefits together results to quick issue resolution reduce service cost and most importantly happy customers the end results are increased agent productivity reduced cost per call and increased customer satisfaction i hereby enclose the reference i used for preparing this topic i would like to thank amit chaudhary for inviting me to this series thank you